Tonight for dinner we're having hunter's chicken with potato wedges and corn on the cob. So I've just chopped my potatoes, adding those to my actor fry and then I just put over some oil and some smoked paprika and I'll pop those in the actor fry and they take about 35 to 40 minutes. I'm just chopping my corn on the cob in half as the big ones are cheaper and then I'm just popping some barbecue sauce onto the chicken and wrapping in bacon. My youngest son wanted chicken with cheese on and my eldest son wanted chicken with bacon and barbecue sauce but no cheese and we're having it with everything so there's a bit of a selection. Things are never easy. And then once those are wrapped in bacon I just pop those in the oven for about half an hour for the chicken to cook. And then I will add some more barbecue sauce and some cheese a bit later on. And here's our dinner plated up. So we have Hunter's chicken with paprika wedges and corn on the cob. Tonight for dinner we're having roast chicken, so just pop that in my tray and put some oil and mixed herbs over and rub in and then I'll pop that in the oven, I find a large chicken takes about two hours in my oven. And here's our dinner plated up. So we have roast chicken, roast potatoes, broccoli and carrots and Yorkshire puddings. Hiya, tonight for dinner we're having um, chicken and bacon risotto. So I'm going to use the leftover chicken from our roast yesterday and the rest of the bacon from the hunter's chicken. And then I've had this risotto rice in the cupboard for quite a while. So I'm gonna use 300 grams of the risotto rice to serve four and make up 1.4 liters of chicken stock and just add that gradually. And then I'm just gonna add some, fry my bacon with some garlic, some mixed herbs and some black pepper. And then I've got some peas, some chestnut mushrooms and some red onion. That I'm also going to add in. Then we might have it with some cheese, I haven't decided yet, and uh, some garlic bread. So I haven't made this before, I will show you step by step and then I'll show you it plated up. So here I'm just frying off my red onion, garlic and bacon and seasoning with some mixed herbs and black pepper. And then I'm just going to add the risotto rice and let that toast slightly before beginning to ladle in my stock. And it did take quite a long time for the rice to soften. And here's our dinner plated up. So it's my husband's, mine, Henry's and Archie's. And we didn't bother with the cheese in the end. We're just having it with some garlic bread. What do you think, Arch? What would you rate it out of 10? Mm, out of 10, I would rate it a 7. What could we improve, do you think? To me, it's just kind of like the general taste. Okay, Henry, um, what would you give it out of 10? 1 million and I love it so much. Oh good, I am glad. Hi 
Hi everyone, tonight we're having cowboy pie. So I'm going to peel these potatoes and they're going to be for mash. And then I'm going to fry some leftover red pepper and onion with my sausages. And then add in the baked beans, some smoked paprika, some black pepper and some tomato puree and cook that all together in the frying pan. And then when the sausage cooked, I'm going to put that in a Pyrex dish and top with mash and grated cheese and pop it in the oven and that is cowboy pie. So I will show you it step by step and then I'll show you when it's ready. My children love this one. Hope you enjoy. decided to add an extra tin of baked beans because it wasn't looking very saucy so you might want to add two tins or you could maybe add one tin and add some more sort of pepper and onions or depends how saucy you like ours yours but we like quite a lot of beans in ours and so I'm just going to let that simmer and while my potatoes cook and then I'm going to assemble it and pop it in the oven And here it is straight out of the oven. So here's our dinner plated up. Um, it's not that easy to make this one look pretty, but it is very tasty. So here's my husband's, mine, Archie's and Henry's. Hi everyone, tonight for dinner we're having lasagna. So I've got my beef mince, my lasagna sheets and plum tomatoes. And I'm gonna just make a bolognese basically with chopped tomato, plum tomatoes, tomato puree and garlic, mixed herbs and my veg. And then just layer it up basically. So just the white sauce and some cheese on the top. And I think we're having garlic bread again. We're gonna soon look like garlic bread, but there you go. I will show you step by step. Enjoy. Here's our dinner plated up. So it's my husband's, mine, Archie's, and Henry. We do have a portion left over as well, which we'll do somebody for lunch. Hi everyone, tonight for dinner we're having a sort of fry up breakfast for dinner. So I've got the bacon and chipolatas that I got reduced at Lidl out of the freezer. So we're gonna have those. And we're going to have some eggs, chips, beans, and then I've got a couple of mushrooms to use up. And I'm the only one that likes tomatoes, so I'll cook a few of those for me. So um, 
I'm basically just going to grill the sausages and bacon, fry the eggs and the mushrooms and tomatoes and cook the chips. So I will show you it plated up. And here's our dinner plated up. So this is my husband's. I haven't cooked his egg yet because he's still at work. And that's mine. Archie's. And Henry doesn't like bacon, eggs or mushrooms. So he's got sausage, chips and beans. Just a nice, simple one tonight. Thank you so much for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you could please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.